What would Matt say to the students at South Middle School that are watching this video right now on Matthew Ives Day? What would he want to say to them if he was able to? If he was talking to students right now, he'd say, it's okay to be you. No one's perfect. We're all different. Uh, but at the end of the day, that's kind of what makes us all great. If his, like, 13 or 14 year old self could like say something you know today looking back it would just be to get back involved with everything and everyone in, like in your life you know every day I would go about you know be present and try to make a positive impact on others even if you're having a hard day just try to be as nice as possible and be a positive person be adventurous and to like not be afraid of like experiencing like real life and not just like showing off your life to other people in a way that's like uh, pompous. He had a, lot of, had a lot of people around him, had a lot of friends, and it wasn't because he was, you know, super athletic and super popular or super rich and these things, but you would just tell like he actually cared about people and was kind to them and was, was genuine. He pulled in all these sort of like, kind of crazy different personality traits that made him like, insanely unique i mean you probably know from researching like the matthew ives track the logo is the pair of red shoes he had these like red shoes and i'm like these are literally clown shoes like what i didn't even nobody even knew what brand they were now that i start to think about it even more there's just so many aspects of his personality that didn't fit what everybody else was trying to do what made him such a good friend in your opinion i think it's probably like his temperament like i never knew him as like an aggressive person. You know, he was someone that, in terms of what I learned from him, it was a lot about the way that he carried himself and the relationships that he had. He didn't let things bother him. Matt Ives was a friend. He was a comedian. He always brought the life to the party. He was just like a smile in human form, like not just on his face, but in his energy, just goofy and funny and just a good friend. You just felt really safe in his presence and just so much kindness and just so much light. He's kind of the hype man for everyone else, you know, just uh, talking everyone up, you know, being positive and giving encouragement, um, you know, always had a smile on his face, being funny, being goofy, not taking things too seriously, but, uh, you know, being there, being there when it mattered, being there when it counted. And all I can remember in that time is wanting to be accepted and, and not feeling validated or accepted, except from him, except from the relationship that we had, you know, and how he treated me unconditionally, despite having all these cool, popular friends. And then there's me in the band and then the musicals. And it didn't matter, you know, that's what kind of person he was. What I learned from Matt is that you make impacts on people and you don't always know the extent of that impact is going to have. So. Matt obviously didn't know that he was going to pass away at the age he passed away. And it's awesome that in his short life, he was able to make such a positive impact um, with the time that he did have. It doesn't have to be these massive gestures. It can be something as simple as, you know, asking a stranger how their day is going or giving a little bit of time to a teacher to try and you know, help answer a question that clearly nobody else in the room wants to answer, but the teacher, you know, wanted to get a conversation going. He was always, like, excited about things, you know? Just being engaged, like, engage yourself, you know? Like, taking life for what it is. If Matt were standing in front of people on Matt Ives Day, what do you think he would say to them? <laughs> Remember what's important to you. Make sure you're constantly learning. Um, but also remembering what's still important to you. Uh, don't take anything too seriously. Don't take life too seriously. Don't take yourself too seriously. Uh, because at the end of the day, it's, it's not really gonna matter. Be in joy, laugh, and to always act from love and act from kindness and look at the light side of life. And move towards joy, move towards fun, move towards light. He would probably say, well, first he would make some overarching joke. Then he would probably say, do the things that make you happy and surround yourself with the people and the things that make you happy. Because that's what he did.